Welcome Pathfinders to another episode on our Health Pathfinder channel. As your trusted guide in the quest for better health, we're here to illuminate the often confusing terrain of medical symptoms and treatments. Today we're embarking on a journey through the murky world of common illnesses. The flu, the common cold, allergies, and the newest addition to our health challenges, COVID-19. But first, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our health exploration videos. Let's delve into the labyrinth of these conditions, learn how to differentiate them, and most importantly, understand how to treat them. So strap on your Explorer Gear Pathfinders and let's get started. Ever wondered how to distinguish between the flu, a common cold, allergies, or even COVID-19? It's a genuine conundrum with numerous ailments presenting similar imagine waking up with a scratchy throat, severe headache, and a runny nose. Could it be the flu, a common cold, or allergies? Or maybe even COVID-19 considering the current global situation? The flu often mimics symptoms of other common illnesses, making it difficult to diagnose without proper testing. However, understanding the subtle differences can be helpful. For instance, flu symptoms like fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, headache, chills, and fatigue usually come on suddenly. Some individuals might experience vomiting and diarrhea, though this is more common in children than adults. On the contrary, a common cold typically presents milder symptoms like a runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, coughing, congestion, mild headache, and sneezing and rarely leads to severe health complications. Allergies can also mirror these symptoms, but they're generally accompanied by itchy eyes, an indication that doesn't normally appear with a cold flu. Then we have COVID-19, with symptoms that often resemble those of the flu, such as fever, cough, body aches, and fatigue. However, a sudden loss of taste or smell is a distinguishing symptom of COVID-19. So how do you differentiate? Timing can play a significant role. Colds and COVID-19 tend to develop gradually, while flu symptoms usually strike suddenly. If symptoms persist or become severe, it's to see a healthcare professional. Following this discussion, it's equally important to understand how to treat the flu. Always consult with a doctor for the best treatment options. They may prescribe antiviral drugs to combat your illness. Remember, starting treatment as soon as possible enhances its effectiveness. In conclusion, while flu symptoms often resemble those of other illnesses, there are subtle differences. Flu usually presents with sudden onset of fever, cough, and body aches, while colds and allergies tend to be milder and develop gradually. COVID-19 can be similar to the flu but may include a sudden loss of taste or smell. Don't forget, if you're ever uncertain, it's always best to seek medical advice. Stay healthy, stay informed, and keep pursuing the path to better health. We've identified the differences between the flu, a common cold, allergies, and COVID-19. But what's next? Treatment, of course. Treating these conditions can be a challenge, but we're here to guide you through it. For the flu, antiviral drugs are typically prescribed, which work best when started within two days of getting sick. However, you should always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any medication. When it comes to the common cold, rest and hydration are your best friends. Over-the-counter cold remedies can also help to relieve symptoms, but they won't shorten the duration of your illness. Allergies, on the other hand, can be managed with antihistamines, decongestants, nasal sprays, or eye drops. Depending on the severity, you may also need to consult with an allergist for a more personalized treatment plan. And lastly, for COVID-19, treatment varies widely based on the severity of symptoms. Mild cases might only require rest and recovery at home, while severe cases may require hospitalization. Vaccination is also a crucial step in preventing the spread of the virus. Remember, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Stay informed, stay proactive, and keep yourself healthy. As we wrap up, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the Health Pathfinders community. Stay tuned for more health tips and insights. Remember, knowledge is the first step to staying healthy.